Let me tell you valuable lessons I've learned from reading Inner Engineering. This book is not designed to tell you the truth, it's designed to guide you on your journey in expanding your awareness and seeking the truth. In the beginning, it starts in an autobiographical sense to give you an idea of who Sadhguru is, who's gonna be guiding you through the book. And then it gives you this foundational framework that truth is eternal and it's everywhere around us and within us. But how much we access of that truth is completely up to us. It's predicated with our body and mind condition that determine how much of it we access and experience. Here's an analogy to better explain it. If you get a glass and put some tea leaves in it and put cold water and take a sip, you just had a sip of water. But if you boil that water, put it over the tea leaves and take a sip, it will be hot. But you'll also have a beautiful sip of tea. So keep in mind that to experience more of the truth of the expansion, our minds and our bodies need to be conditioned in certain ways. If you're anything like me, a few years ago, for about 10 years, I was spiritually lost and I wouldn't accept anything that was outside of the domain of reason. I was also a little bit stubborn about it. But let me tell you, that made my life experience during those times so limited because everything that is beautiful in life is beyond the domain of reason. During these times where I lost my spiritual connection, I still had some good habits. I was always searching and meditating consistently until at some point I had a few spiritual experiences that allowed me to get back on track. I was able to feel inner peace again and the ease that I had lost. To leave you with a guiding tip, if you've ever been happy a moment in your life before and now you're not as happy as you were, you're selling yourself short. And whichever the happiest that you have been should be your standard. You can never go lower than that. I remember I used to look at old pictures of mine and choose the ones where I looked most happy and try to reverse engineer that emotion, analyze what was my environment, who was I hanging out with at the time, what were the activities I was doing in that time period so I can apply it in my present moment. So a simple tip to support us on our journey is to maintain that pleasantness within us. The happiest you have been before should be your new standard or more but not less. Let me know what you think in the comments and see you in the next video.